When do we use a present progressive? Action happening now. Action happening around now, around us. Temporary situation and series of actions. Changing and develop situation. Annoying or amusing habits. Background information in jokes and other informal stories. Describing pictures, feeling you're starting to be aware of, physical feelings, the future for arrangement, the future in time class, analyze. So in part two, we're going to talk about when do we use the present progressive, you know, Part two, we're gonna talk about a formula for present progressive. You know, part three, we're gonna talk about the spelling rules for present progressive. All right, okay. All about present progressive or present continuous things. You know, when do we use the present progressive? You know, so when do we use the present progressive? Okay, let's go. One action happening now. This is one of the way we mostly know about present progressive. You know, action happening now. That's what mostly we know about present progressive. You know, uh, so just like what I'm doing now. You know, okay. Uh, the boys are doing their homework right now. The boys are doing their homework right now. So action happening right now you know so you gotta see they are, are doing okay so you, you you gotta see the time expression there right now there is an expression there right now that's a time expression so the boys the boys are doing their homework right now so it's an action happening now okay all right the boys are doing their homework tomorrow so you gotta see here the time expression here is tomorrow so this is a present progressive talking about the future just because of the time expression tomorrow so the boys are doing their homework tomorrow so but we gotta talk about this in the next video you know so we are present progressive talks about the future you know in time expression okay all right guys action happening around us you know so we also use present progressive talking about action happen around us just around us okay all right so example here what book are you doing in english at the moment are you doing so this is an action happening around us so what book are you doing in english at the moment so you gotta see the time expression here moment so you gotta see action happening around us and action happening now they are a little similar but there's a little difference okay all right guys action happening around us things that haven't finished yet so action happening around us things that haven't finished yet so okay let's do some little example here she's looking for an apartment you know so it's an action happening around us still around us you know she's looking for an apartment she's still looking for her apartment she started looking for her apartment she's still looking for apartment so these are action happening around her. it's still going on you know it hasn't finished yet so she's looking for an apartment all right let's go to the next one i'm reading a book at the moment so i'm reading a book at the moment i'm still reading i'm on it i started and i'm still on it so these are action happening around us present progressive okay let's go uh, so uh, let's talk about temporal uh, temporary situation a series of action you know we all know the present progressive tell us about the temporal situation you know you know so like example here we gotta say we aren't having any exam why the lecturers are still on strikes are still on strike you know so we aren't having any exam why the lecturers are still on strike 
So you gotta see here, the action here is temporal. So when we're talking about temporal situation, you need to ask the question, how long? So how long this strike is going to take place? So in temporal situation, we always ask the question, how long? Because it's a temporal situation, you know, so how long the lecturers, how long the lecturers are going to strike? How long? For one month, two months, three months, six months, how long? So in a temporal situation, we always ask the question, how long? You know? All right, okay. Uh, she works in the marketing department. This is a present simple. This is talking about permanent situation. You know, so that's why in present simple and present progress, you get to know the difference. The present simple talk about permanent situation. The present progressive is talking about a temporary situation. Something maybe you do in a, maybe just in a day, in a month, in a year, it's just temporary, it's not permanent. So she works in a market department, it's a present simple. He works there. Okay, she works there, so it's a permanent situation. She's working there. She works there. Okay. Alright, let's go to the next one here. This is a permanent job. It's a present simple, it's a permanent job. Okay. She works in the marketing department, present simple. That is a permanent job, you know. So but if we we'll say she's working in the marketing department, so this is a temporary situation. You know, maybe she's working in the marketing department just for a week or one week or two weeks temporarily so this is one of the difference between the present progressive and the present simple so the present simple talking about permanent situation why the present progressive talking about a temporary situation you know when talk about temporary situation a job may be just for a week for a month you know so you can say she's working in the marketing department so these are the difference you get to know between the present progressive and uh, present simple changing and develop situation in present progressive okay all right so when we're talking about changing and develop situation we have some vocabulary some verbs we use in changing and develop situation what are this vocabulary get getting rise rising improve improving fall falling begin beginning increase increases grow growing so these are the verbs we use in changing and develop situation in present progressive all right okay guys let's go more and more people are recognizing the advantages of being able to speak a foreign language there's a change occur here are recognizing so more people are recognizing the advantages of speaking foreign language that was true so that's the changes occur here the population of our city is growing by around five percent a year so the population of our city is growing by around five percent a year so there's a change occur here so you're gonna see here the main verb growing and the auxiliary verb is so there's a change occur here so the population for our city is growing, you know, is growing by what? By 5%. So, so this is changing and develop situation, okay? Okay? All right, guys, okay. My English is slowly getting better. So my English is slowly getting better. So there's a change here. So your English is getting better. You're improving, you know? So this is a change. So we mostly we use present progressive in changing, you know? Changing and develop situation, okay? All right, guys, okay, let's go annoying or amusing habit you know so we use the present progressive annoying amusing habit you know but when we're using annoying and amusing habit most of the time we usually use the always the adverb always there are a lot of alpha we always use in annoying situation you know so like adverb like always constantly we have a lot of it you know you can see that these are the verbs you know we always use in annoying situation you know Dan is always coming up with a crazy idea. So Dan is always coming up with crazy ideas, you know. So you gotta see here the adverb always. So the adverb always is in front of the main verb coming 
and after the Ogza River is Dan is so in a shortening form we we'll say Dan's dance you know so dance always coming up with the craziest idea so this is annoying situations you gotta be careful with the alva you know all right okay let's go he's always forgotten to bring the things he needs it's annoying so he's always forgotten to bring the things he needs so you gotta see at the alva always in front of the main verb forgotten after the auxiliary verb is so these are annoying situations so in the annoying situation we always use always constantly there are more verbs we use this way in this annoying situation in present progressive you know all right guys okay let's go the third sentence say they are constantly gossiping about me behind my back you know so they are constantly gossiping about me behind the back so you gotta see here um, the adverb constantly in front of the main verb gossiping the present progressive and after the auxiliary verb er you know so is 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 annoying situation you know they are always uh, they are constantly gossiping about me behind my back you know it's annoying why are you doing that you know so these are annoying situation we use the present progressive okay all right guys okay my boss is continually interrupting me while I'm trying to work. So the alpha here is continually, you know. So my boss is continually interrupt me, interrupting me while I'm trying to work. It's a annoying situation. Why my boss is doing that? So you got to see here the alpha in front of the main verb interrupting and after the auxiliary verb is. So we always use alverb in front of the main verb to talk about annoying situation or amusing habit in present progressive. Okay. So yeah, these are the alverbs we all, we mostly use in front of the main verb and after the auxiliary verb in present progressive. You see this alverb here. Alverb short as always, constantly, never, still, just, etc. These are most of the alpha we use, okay? Background information in jokes and other informal stories. All right, let's go. Example, a man goes to see his therapist. He is carrying a bag full of honey. This one is just like uh, a joke, you know? This one is just a joke, you know. You get a catch of the joke, man, you know. So in this situation, we use a present progressive carrying with the auxiliary verb is. So it's carrying a bag full of honey. All right. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Describing pictures. So we also use present progressive in describing pictures. We can watch the pictures and describe it. So let's go uh, some example here. The two ladies are running. You know, you want a picture? Oh, the two ladies are running. You know, so the present progressive here, running, er, er, running. Okay, so we describe pictures, guys. Okay, all right, let's go. The lady on the grass is reading a book. Yeah, the lady on the grass is reading a book. You know, watch the picture and describe the picture. Okay, it's reading, present progressive. Okay, all right, let's go. The lady on the rock is taking photos so the lady on the rock is taking photo you know so we are describing these pictures you're saying so we use a present progressive in describing pictures photos you know all right guys okay let's go feeling you are starting to be aware of so we use a present progressive to talk about feeling you are starting to be aware of just aware to be aware like some feeling just aware it now not in the past just right now all right okay let's go i realize i made a wrong decision so i realize i made the wrong decision this is a feeling but this is a past feeling you know so we are trying to talk about a recent feeling okay all right so this is not a new feeling you know it's a past feeling you know so all right okay let's try to talk okay i'm realizing i made the wrong decision so i'm realizing 
I'm realizing I made the wrong decision. So now you are like, uh, realizing now. So I'm realizing, you know, you're just aware of something now, you know, not in the past now. So I'm realizing I made the wrong decision. Okay. All right, guys, let's go. So you, so uh, you are just starting to think about this. So you just started thinking about it right now. So that's why hmm, I'm realizing I made the wrong decision. So all this is about present progressive. So use present progressive feeling you are starting to be aware of. Okay, this is also an example for you to understand more. All right, I find it difficult to work with him. So I find it difficult to work with him. This one is like you're talking about a feeling that I've passed, you know. So let's try to talk about the recent feeling, you know. I'm feeling, okay, yeah, I'm finding it difficult to work with him. I'm finding it difficult to work with him. You just realize the feeling now, and the feeling is going on. You know, the feeling is not in the past now. So I'm finding it difficult to work with him. Finding, I'm finding, okay. Physical feelings, you know, so we also use the present progress talking about physical feelings, but in physical feelings It's right for you to use the present simple or the present progressive. It depends on how you want to use it Anyway, using you right in the physical feelings, you know, so let's do some example here yeah? Let's try to see present simple present progressive anyway use you right in physical feelings. Okay. All right How are you feeling? So how are you feeling is in present progressive. How are you feeling? Okay. How do you feel? So how are you feeling? How do you feel? You right. So how do you feel is present simple. How, okay. How are you feeling is present progressive. So present progressive and present simple. Anyway, use your right in physical feelings. Okay. All right. Let's go this one. My tooth is hot. So this is a present progressive. You can also use the present simple by saying, my tooth hurts. So this one you write. So in physical feeling, you can use present progressive. You can use present simple. All right. And you know, this is a quiz. You can try to do it and check your understanding. Okay. So try to check your understanding. I'm already in five minutes, you know. So when do we use the present progressive? So let's answer the quizzes, guys. Okay. The quiz. Okay. All right. Let's go. A, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? So this one is what? This is action happening now. You know, so action happening now. So it's happened now, okay? So what are you doing now? Okay, you see the time expression there now, okay? All right, let's go to the next one. I'm writing an email now. So the time expression now. So this is action happening now, you know? So the answer is action happening now. Okay. All right, let's go. My brother is looking for a job at the moment. My brother is looking for a job at the moment. This one is an action that is going on around us. You know, action that is going on around us. So the answer here is action. So this is action happening around us. You know, action that is still going on around us. That is the answer. Okay. All right, let's go. We are having lunch with my mom. We are having lunch with my mom. So this one, if you think of the answer, you gotta say, how long are you having a lunch? So if you're asking how long are you having a lunch? So the answer is what? A temporary situation. So it's a temporary situation. So you ask the question, how long? We are having lunch with my mom, how long? Okay. All right, let's go to the next one here, okay? Shh. She's living in rented accommodation while her house is being repaired. She's living in a rented accommodation while her house is being repaired. So the question here is how long she is living in a rented accommodation? So if you ask the question how long, so this gotta be a temporary situation. So she just gotta be in a rental accommodation for maybe for a month or two months or three months or four months, you know, because uh, his house is under repaired, you know. So the answer here is what? A temporary situation. It's a temporary situation, okay? All right, let's go to the next one here. Number five, two dogs 
are swimming on the lake. Two dogs are swimming on the lake. This is describing a picture. You see a picture that you're describing. So the two dogs are swimming on the lake. So what is the answer? Describing pictures. So the answer there is describing pictures. Okay. All right. Let's go. The puppy is running with the ball. The puppy is running with the ball. This is describing a picture. You're describing a picture. What a picture? Then you're describing it. So I think the answer is what? Describing pictures. That's the answer. Describing pictures. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one here. The boy. The boy who is wearing glasses is called Peter. So the boy who is wearing glasses is called Peter. You're describing a picture. So I think the answer here is going to be describing pictures. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Describing pictures. Because you're still describing. The boy is wearing glasses is called Peter. You know. All right. Let's go, guys. I'm getting cold outside. I'm getting cold outside. Which situation is this? I'm getting cold outside. So, so you gotta see here, the situation here is changing situation. So, I'm getting cold outside. So if you are getting cold, that's a change of call. You know, so I'm getting cold. So getting there is a verb that express change. So I'm getting cold outside. So the situation here is changing situation. Okay, all right, let's go. I'm becoming more confident. I'm becoming more confident. Which situation is this? So the situation will be changing situation because I'm becoming. So the verb they are becoming is expressing a change. So I'm becoming more confident. So the answer there is changing situation. You know, that's the answer. The situation is changing. Okay. I'm finding it hard to work with him. I'm finding it hard to work with him. Which situation is this? I think this is a feeling, you know, so I'm finding it hard to work with him. So, um, the situation here is what? Feeling to be, uh, feeling to be aware of. So you are getting a feeling that you got to be aware of. So I'm finding it hard to work with him. So feeling to be aware of, that's the answer. Okay. All right, let's go. She's always coming to the office late. Which situation is this? She's always coming to the office late. I think this situation is annoying situation. You know, it's annoying situation because you gotta see the al verb there always is in front of the main verb coming and after the auxiliary verb is. So we express annoying mostly by using the al verb in front of the main verb always. You know, she's always coming to the office late. It's annoying. So I think the answer gonna be annoying or amusing habits. But the answer there is annoying. It's really annoying, okay? So the other one said, they are always complaining. They are always complaining. So which situation is this? So the situation is an annoying situation. You know, they are always complaining because the verb always in front of the main verb complain and after the auxiliary verb er. So they are always complaining. So this situation is going to be an annoying situation. You know, so the answer is an annoying situation. Yeah, if you want to order a construction trucks, agriculture trucks from China, direct from the factory, just contact me. Any type of trucks you need, okay?